But all I've got to do is beat her up, right? <laughs> oh, oh, folded, did, 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 did. Damn. Yo, I, I just want to say, I love the art style of this manga, bro. I love it. Like, bro, any art style that's like not too serious and that doesn't go too ham, like the art can still look good. Like you don't have to like, okay, how can I say this without coming off as condescending? Um, I love good, like manga with good art is there. It exists and I love it. It's a, it's a vibe. But for me, my personal preference is like this really rough, scratchy, sketchy style of manga, you know, not too serious. Akutami, Fujimoto, and who's the, who wrote this? Kaku, Yuji Kaku. I think Yuji's, I'm going to add Yuji to that list because I'm liking your art style, bro. I ain't going to lie. Samurai Champloo. Hi, welcome back, my beautiful people, to some more Aie Shimon. Aie Shimon? Aie Shimon? Aie Shimon. Chapter 2. Now, if you weren't here for Chapter 1, I'm going to link it down below. Make sure you go check that out. It was fire. Bro, this manga caught me so off guard. It's only just coming back to me now. So we've met Urara and we've met, um, what's this dude's name? Kaido something? Kaido something? Right? Yo, this manga, I feel like this manga is going crazy, bro. So, hey, go get what you need to get. Grab some snacks, hop under your blanket. Go do what you got to do. If you got to use the toilet, go use the toilet. Now, I'll wait. We'll wait. We will, us <laughs> and 7,000 others will wait for you, bro. While we wait for them not to go use the loo. How you guys doing? Now, real talks, how are you guys doing? We haven't really had like a heart to heart in so damn long, bro. We need it. We need it. We need it. That video's coming soon. Don't worry. I feel like I want to do it when I hit 10k. That way I can address everyone as a whole. But, um, yo, I want your full and total immersion for the next 10 to 20 minutes. Please, let's get into it. Ayashimon chapter 2. Ayashimon. I know how to pronounce it. I'm just being silly. Ayashimon chapter 2. Let's get it. This monster battle stuff is intense. I thought you wanted to battle monsters, bro. <laughs> Wasn't that your whole thing? Okay. Kyo ruled as the great Oyabun of Shinjuku. We, all, we know that Oyabun is like the, the top dog, the leader. Under his control, both the Enma Syndicate and the Kabu Kicho Underworld maintain the honor code of Jingi. What's Jingi? Okay. But then Kyo died. Yep, and everything changed. With the keystone hold, holding everything together gone, the syndicate fractured. Family split off. Family split off, each vying with the other to be the next leader. So a turf war, basically. Now gang warfare runs rampant throughout Shinjuku. Gang warfare, huh? Can't wait. It's not a game. People are dying. So anyway, where's everybody else? Elder sister. You mean my other gang members? Yeah, I don't think she got others. I think you're the only one. It's only the two of... <laughs> what did I say? Yeah, just you guys. And look at these people on the train. They are so uncomfortable with this conversation going down, bro. Like, you can't help but hear it. Well, yeah, I only just founded it. We don't have an office or even a car yet. You're kidding. And this is perfect, though. We're a small squad of elites poised to take advantage of the district's chaos. Okay. Uh, you're trying to take over the whole shebang, right? Can we really pull that off by ourselves? Well, that's where you come in. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be doing like 90% of the heavy lifting, my guy. She's really just face. She's really just the face of the of the syndicate. You're going to be doing most of the work. I'll be real. What the heck? Is this girl insane? Is this girl sane? Why does she even want to rule? And rule over what? Yakuza? Monsters? Cute little girls? Um, This is confusing. My brain's starting to hurt. Yokai? G -g 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 Gang warfare? Kabuki? One on one deal. Bro, there's so much. There's so much. There's so much. Man said his head just <laughs> overload. Mommy, what are they talking about? They're talking about gang business, little girl. Gang business. We're talking about a monk. <laughs> you wish! Ah. Hey! Hey! Hey, hey, ah, 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 fourth wall break, ah, I see you, ah, I see you, <laughs> that's like the second one, don't think too hard about all the fiddly details, big bro, all you need to do is fight, through that, 
True that. That's really all you need to do. Just beat whoever you fight. That's it. Oh yeah, you're right. Man, I'm getting hyped up already. Don't jump around on a chain on a train, big bro. Let's get right to it then. First, I need you to crush Shinjuku's border guard. Why are you saying it like it's a like it's a e a border guard word? Public safety constantly monitors Shinjuku's borders for Yashimon activity. All except for one spot. That is here. Shinjuku Gyo Gion Gion Gyoen? Shinjuku Gyoen. I hope I'm saying that right. It sprawls across Shinjuku's borders and it falls under the Ministry of Environment's jurisdiction jur jur jurisdiction. Damn. Public safety can't watch it. Okay, so it's like this is like Ayashimon section only. We can easily slip in through here under the cover of night. Oof, push me higher. But there is a guard on the grounds. Hashihime. Oh, maybe say that before we step onto the premises. Huh? Chopstick princess? <laughs> what? Oh, is that what Hashihime means? Chopstick princess. Huh? Nah. That's Hashihime. Damn. The Kijin who guards Kyoto's Uji Bridge, taking the form of a woman. She bore metal bands and candles. Oh my god. That's a woman? Oh, I see the titties, so yeah, I guess. Oh my goodness, bro. That's Chopstick Princess? She's a secret member of the syndicate. Some Yakuza do hold down normal civilian jobs. She's one of them. During the day, she works at, at the gardens. At night, she guards the border against illegal entrance. Ah, I can't say I get all that. But all I've got to do is beat her up, right? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, folded, did, 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 damn, didn't even give him a chance, man was even clicking, he was just prepping, yo, I, I just want to say, I love the art style of this manga, bro, I love it, like, bro, any art style that's, like, not too serious, and that doesn't go too ham, like, the art can still look good, like, you don't have to, like, okay, how can I say this without coming off as condescending? Um, I love good, like, manga with good art is there. It exists and I love it. It's a, it's a vibe. But for me, my personal preference is, like, this really rough, scratchy, sketchy style of manga, you know? Not too serious. Akutami, Fujimoto, and who's the, who wrote this? Kuju, ku, ku something? I'm, I'm pretty sure. T, 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 T something? What was it? Kaku. Yuji Kaku. I think Yuji's... I'm going to add Yuji to that list because I'm liking your art style, bro. I ain't going to lie. So he gets absolutely rinsed. Boom. Sends him... Oh, my God. Man even done a 360 spin. How you do... Jesus. How is someone making you do a horizontal 360 spin? Not even, no, no, not horizontal. A vertical, bro. Not even a horizontal. Jesus. Goes flying over the railing. Oh, dear. One hit. <laughs> Are you forgetting this guy's a human? Oh! Oh! Okay! I like this form. Stay like this. Stay like this. Uh, chopstick princess. Stay like this. You look good. Huh. You look good. Hmm. And then she glares. He was so frail that calling him weak would be a compliment. He's gonna... He's gonna come straight back. You think... <laughs> I have... 100% faith in this MC that he's just gonna run and then get up. Dead ass, but watch. A fly would have given me more trouble. Returning to Shinjuku with only a mere human like him? That's the height of foolhardy recklessness. Step down. Pardon my presumptuous Miss Urara, but please turn back. I mean, she. Okay, so she's like a. Uh, what's this manga? Uh, what's this anime? She's like, um. Ah. Uh, It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Don't try and think too hard. It'll come to me. I thought he was a soldier with some promise. Hardly, miss. He failed. He has failed badly. The Enma Syndicate of today is far more vicious than yesterday's. He stands no chance. Oh, my days. And if anyone discovers who you are and learns that Chairman Kyo's bastard child yet li... Oh! So Chairman Kyo, the, the top dog, the head hunch... Who, who passed away? This is his bastard kid. So he must have like had like an affair or whatever with like another lady and tried to hide it so no one knows she exists. Like they dead ass probably don't even know Kyo had a daughter. That's crazy. 
do you have any idea of the danger you'd put yourself in? So that's why she took a knee. Okay. That day, when I got the news of, chair, of the chairman's passing, I made the personal decision to take you out of Shinjuku. Ah. I did it because I knew you were precious to Chairman Kyo. I was your attendant and you were precious to me too. I wanted you to live a life far away from this world. Let me guess. Is it doubt that's brought you back? Are you hoping to find the truth behind your father's death? Neil. Woo! Woo! I love that. The authority. I ain't even got to hear her voice, but I know the authority that she just gave is crazy. I gave you no permission to rise. Oh! Though this body I inhabit is young, I am still an oni. My kind have been div divinities of the spirit realm since ancient times. Okay? You have your doubts too. I know you do. Kyo, my father, his death wasn't natural. Someone murdered him. But what I want isn't the truth. I want revenge. Ura Meshia, woe unto me. Oh my goodness, bro. Freaking goosebumps. Ura Meshia, woe unto me. <sighs> wow. Can you imagine my helplessness? Forbi forbidden from entering his funeral. Raw. Raw. You couldn't even go to your own dad's funeral? That's nuts. That's nuts. That's nuts. Hearing about his death only via the news. Woe unto his killer and woe unto the syndicate for, fall, for failing to protect him. I came back to Shinjuku for a single reason. To take back the one memento my father left to me. The family crest. Then I would destroy his murderers and the Enma syndicate along with them. <sighs> she ain't playing. You want to destroy your father's syndicate? Well, they did murder him. It'll be my final parting gift to him. Hmm. Telling me to go off and live a dull life without settling the score. Word. That's like, imagine you're a kid, right? But you're old enough to, to like know what's going down. You know right from wrong. You know good from bad. You know shit, okay? So maybe 12 to 13 years old. And then your, 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 one of your parents get murdered. God forbid this ever happens to anyone. But then one of your parents get murdered and you're actually old enough to comprehend what's going on. You think you're just going to go and live a normal life? Get a, get a nine, nine to five? Get married? No. Bro, I'm going to hone my whole teenage years to getting swole. Yeah? I'm talking parkour, jujitsu. I'm going to learn sword training. I'm going to learn, bro, free running, everything. Any, bro. I'm going to find the deadliest assassins in the world. Bro. Bro. It's crazy. You want to just... Uh, there he is. Oh, he was underwater? There he is. Man, what a hit. Oof. This must be what that's like. You know, getting slammed by a truck. So, that's the equivalent of getting hit by a truck to you. You just got absolutely... I don't even... I can't even find a word to... Bro, she just rocked your jaw to kingdom come. Your head should have come off your shoulders. So the fact that you just stood off from that with a little shrug and saying that's what getting hit by a truck feels like. There he is. Oh, I love this smile. He did it in chapter one too. I love this. Look at this guy. <laughs> this is crazy. Is this the kind of fight waiting for me in Shinjuku? This monster battle stuff is intense. Bro, really and truly, a normal human, their head should have come clean off their shoulders. So, you're already something else. Man, this is totally that fight. Kenshiro versus Devil Reborn. Well, he's stubborn at least. Alright, you have your fight. I'll crush you like the rat you are and convince, and convince Miss Urara to give up. Oh, so when she puts the mask on, she turns. Okay. I do hereby challenge thee, man to man, to a 1v freaking 1. Woo! To a battle of guts, a battle of souls. Hey, this is getting interesting, man. And this kid ain't even flinching. He's just running straight into it. Gets punched, blocks it, punched again, and again? Did she just send him through a wall? This kid's not normal, bruv. Okay, we've, I need to stop saying that. We've established this kid is not normal. He's not. 
He's not. From times you were breaking boulders at what nine years old. You're not. Um, you're not normal, bro. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> She's good. Can't overpower her. I'll have to use my head. Yeah. <sighs> Give up, rat. You're a mere fly to me. My wax and armor is stronger than steel. You could never split it. Steel? Is that it? I'm pretty sure this guy could do a lot more than steel. Here I go. Super smart attack. Man said let me use my head, but then instead of actually using his head, he just changed the name of his attack to super smart. <laughs> this human being, bruv, she's shocked. Wow. How'd you like that chopstick princess? <laughs> you can break bamboo chopsticks with their own paper sleeve if you're fast enough. Oh, I read that in a manga. No way. The kid's a mere human, right? And what did speed have to do with that? It was just a big punch. <laughs> Literally. It was just a really big punch, bro. Sheesh. Huh? What's with that luck? Don't you want to fight anymore? I don't fight people who don't want to fight back. It's no fun. Fun? Don't diss me, kid. Ask the spirit. Let's go, Kenshiro. 100 rend... Let's go, Kenshiro 100 rending. Yo, she's just watching. She just what, bruh. <laughs> I knew it. Maruo is far from normal. There's something about him that's different from Ayashimon and from humans. Not that I can say that. Not that I can say what something is. Not that I can say what that something is. But because he's so different, he catches his opponents on awareness. Yep. They think he's going to be some scrawny human. You're, it's like... Think about it, it's like an ant, like a literal ant, right? Walking up to you and then going, hey, let's fight. I'm going to slump you. What would you do? You'd just, <laughs> you'd, you'd, <laughs> you know? But then it's like, after you splat it, that motherfucker just get right back up and says, hey, let's go. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be shook. I'd be shooketh if I did that, bruv. Imagine, imagine, you got a, your, imagine you saw a spider, yeah? And you, and you went to hit it with your slipper. And it, and it squashed and, it, and everything, but then he just got back up and said round two. Bro, I'd run. There's no way I'm fighting that motherfucker. And if he ever gets too hard to handle, I'll just dispose of him. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be possible. Yes, Maruo. I have such high hopes for you. As a useful pawn in my revenge. Yeah. You say that. You say you want to use him. You say you're going to dispose of him. But as the chapters go on, you're probably going to end up falling for him. Let's be real. Either that or he's going to feel like a brother to you and you're going to absolutely love him to bits. So, I don't think so. I don't think so. Bam. What? She's just hearing all the fun. Oh my goodness gracious gracious. That said, this is a tad more than I expected. Man obliterated the whole gaff. I don't even know where we're at anymore. Yeah, she's sleep. Don't even get up. Just sleep. Just sleep. Or else this guy's going to kill you. My thanks for your devotion, Hashime. But I'll be on my way now to pay my respects to the departed. That kid, he's an expendable pawn to you, isn't he? Just as I was. Ah. Uh. And? Does that upset you? <laughs> she's, a, she's smiling. How are you smiling in a situation like this, bro? No. In fact, I'm proud. You've grown strong, miss. Frighteningly so. So I guess in like the world of Ayashimon, it's like, as a top dog, you have to show your dominance and sort of like look down on everyone else. I don't know, maybe. You, kid, come here. The fact that this nigger walks away from a fight like that with just a bit of blood and a few scratches? <sighs> what? You lost, so don't go ordering me around. <laughs> Shut up and listen. Shinjuku is more dangerous than you could ever expect. Stay alert. View everyone around you as an enemy and don't forget these names. These are the four most dangerous groups in Shinjuku. Board Enma Syndicate. First is the new Enma Syndicate, led by the second chairman. He's far more vicious than his predecessor. Okay. So this flag reads Todoroki. 
Then there's the Todoroki Alliance, a collection of biker gangs who split from the syndicate. Okay. Who's next? Another is Ayakashi B-Stars, the host club that controls most of the nightclubs and cabarets in Shinjuku. Last but not least is the Kori Hotel Group. They're an external faction that started expanding into Shinjuku Turf. Wait, so... Because these worlds, are, it's a Mirin world, right? So it's split into two, humans and Ayashimon. So... Because they keep mentioning Shinjuku, Shinjuku, Shinjuku. Is Shinjuku like... Fully Ayashimon? Like, are there no humans there? Or is it like split half down the middle? So half Shinjuku... So half Ayashimon, half humans. Or... Is it a thing where like you have to, how did they even get here? Hold up. Is it a thing where you have to like enter like some sort of portal and then you're there? I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works yet. But I know they went on the train. They're now in Shinjuku Gardens, I'm guessing, right? And they climbed some sort of wall thing. And now they're here and now they're there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how they get there. <laughs> okay, uh, where are we? Okay, so we've got uh, the new Enma Syndicate, the Todoroki Alliance, Ayash Ayakashi B-Stars, and last but not least is the Kori Hotel Group. They're an external faction that started expanding into Shinjuku Turf. Okay. Those are the four biggest players, but gangs of all sizes are vying for a piece of the Chairman Kiyo's pie. As a human, the first thing you must do is learn the rules of the ritual deal. So that you can protect your boss with honor at a mo moment's notice. <laughs> Bro, don't feed this nigga too much information. You know he's not. <laughs> Look at him already trying to co trying to compute two plus two. He's not there, bruv. So, you know he's not he's not a book smart. He's a street smart guy. So don't don't overload his brain with that type shit. Hey, that's it. Hey, that was dope, man. Chapter two. Yuji Kaku, you're doing it still, you're doing it, and I like your art style, man. I never really deeped it in part one, but the art style is dope, I love it. I'm liking this manga. Hey. 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 Ayashimon. I'm, I may, if you're lucky, I may just end up putting you on my top 20 list. I'm, I'm, we'll see. We'll see. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like if you did. It does help out the channel. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you beautiful specimens in the next video. Peace.